Hiya. This week I was looking at the internet, as you do, and I have came across this website and one of the articles on it was about album covers that look extremely like other album covers. Let me show you some examples. Let's have a quick look through these then. Well, The Clash are definitely copying Elvis for that one. The Gorillas are doing Let It Be. Britney Spears, although not in the middle of the screen, is definitely copying that Bjork album. Motley Crue, could be Stingy Fingers, couldn't it? Blur, well, if that's not a copy of the Dub Sex album, I don't know what is. Man of War, Kiss, could be the same album, couldn't it? And this one from Tom Waits is definitely taken from In The Wee Small Hours from Frank Sinatra's album. Led Zeppelin and Jose Feliciano, do you reckon they live in the same block? David Burns definitely giving you some of his Phil Collins looks. And if that's not a copy of one, I don't know. What do you think? Eminem copying Beastie Boys? I reckon so. And finally, Sleater Keeney doing their version of the King Controversy. Well, if they can do it, so can I. I'm going to have a go at making my own copycat version of an album cover. The one I've chosen, hang on a second, is this one. The Beatles, Hard Day's Night. I'm going to do my own version of it. I'm going to have to put my face in all 20 squares. So now that I've decided what I'm going to do with this cover, the next stage is on the computer and rather than spend an hour on there with you showing you how I do it bit by bit, I thought I'd just give you a run through and show you the different steps that I made. If you look at the screen now, you can see the Beatles album on the left and on the right I've made two rectangles, the bottom half being blue as in that cover and the top being cream. The next step is to put in three horizontal lines, two white ones and one blue one. After that, it's five rounded squares, which will be duplicated so that you've got one, two, three, four rows of them. The next step is to make the record label. So as you can see, the Parlophone label has a pound sign on it, so I've made it quids in. Next bit, instead of being the Beatles, I'm the Sand Scratcher. The next thing to do is to come up with a name for the album, and I thought that since there's going to be a lot of photos, every picture tells a story. And to finish it off, I've put the little mono logo up in the top right corner. The next step is to go and take some photos. I need to find myself a plain background, and there's only one place in here that's got that, and that's my bathroom. Okay then, now I'm set up, I'm standing in my shower. I've got a white background behind me. So what I'm gonna do now is take 20 photos and hopefully get some that look a bit like that. Now I have to say that was a very weird thing to do. Um, photos are taken, it's now time to go back onto the computer, do a bit of tarting up, and then I'm ready to drop the photos into those little squares. Okay, they're done. Do you want to have a quick look? And so it's time to put both of those record covers side by side. Have a look. What do you think? Well, I don't know about you, but I think it's not too bad. That's my version of the cover. Would you want to buy it? Would you like to hear that man sing? I'll tell you, I don't think you really would. And that's it from me for another vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button. Let me know that you're liking it because that's the only way I can tell whether you're enjoying the things that I'm doing. And so till next time, I'll see you.